With less than a month left, we cannot talk about the upcoming Lok Sabha elections without bringing up the third front, the most rapidly evolving subject in Indian politicking. Various local and regional parties are forming an alliance to give Indian voters an alternative to the traditional national parties. A handful of left-leaning parties stand strong in the third front, and these are joined by regional parties. The third front is ever-changing. For example, last month, AIA DMK was a strong member, but today it's no longer part of the third front. Member parties like BJD and JDS look ready to break ranks too, but other members believe the third front will only grow stronger and acquire more allies in the weeks to come. I know, it's quite a lot to take in. But wait, what does the third front stand for? We're not quite sure. Since it's a medley of parties that stand for various ideologies, their common ground to fight on in these elections is limited. It's still unclear how each of these parties benefits from this alliance. I mean, how is it even possible to talk about seat sharing when there is no recognized leader? For the people of India, it seems like the third front is an attempt of regional parties to make themselves more relevant in the upcoming elections. And it's working. The unspoken mission of the third front is to protect secularism and prevent communal forces from coming to power. That is, to make sure the BJP doesn't win. But the Congress should be very worried too. Their allies are either inconsequential, questioning their leadership, or simply deserting them. Suddenly, the Congress is a minority in its own coalition. Let's see how this would pan out in the upcoming elections. BJP wins a majority and finds allies to form a coalition government. Congress wins a majority. Third front parties join them at the center. The combined tally of the Congress and BJP falls short of a majority. A third front coalition, possibly supported by the Aam Admi Party, comes to power. Either way, a coalition is highly probable, and the fate of the third front is tied to the wins or the losses of the BJP and Congress. So keep your eyes on the news, everyone.